Swayam Prabha Digital India Educated India Welcome students to the online NPTEL course of Visual Communication Design for Digital Media. So in the previous lecture we were uh, talking about the contemporary design uh, movements and how uh, the visual style of the design uh, after uh, industrial revolution, so post uh, industrial revolution um, have changed. So we also discussed uh, the modernist and postmodernist movement in the tangible media of uh, print media and art. And then we moved uh, on towards the uh, digital media and we uh, discussed what kind of uh, uh, styles uh, were there in the digital display system. So in, the, uh, in this lecture, we will discuss more uh, about the technology advancement of digital media because uh, right now digital media is not just a display system on tab, uh, mobile and um, desktop. So it's going uh, farther and it's a very nascent uh, uh, platform and it's uh, evolving um, in each and every day. So uh, we will discuss about the new technology advancements and how you can incorporate your visual skills into different, um, different uh, paradigm and different uh, mode of uh, digital media platform. Today, so if we look at, so we, um, uh, this is the paradigm, the, the paradigm uh, works in this way. So user is there. And digital media, we can perceive digital media through our laptop, we, our des uh, desktop, tab and mobile phones. And we can connect with the world. So uh, here we are designing for these uh, platforms. Uh, we are designing games. We are designing animation to be viewed in uh, tabs, mobile app, uh, uh, mobile apps, uh, and uh, I, I mean, in, uh, it can be in Android, it can be in um, iOS platforms. Uh, but uh, the display system is the uh, system which uh, the digital screen which appears in uh, laptop or in desk, uh, desktop or in tab or in uh, phone. But uh, the digital media paradigm is uh, shifting uh, and it's uh, changing towards this uh, tangible digital um, display system. So these dis uh, digital display si uh, systems are tangible. We can touch the screen and we can interact with the screen by clicking on, uh, if it is touch screen, we can click on the screen. And if it is um, uh, in case of um, uh, uh, keypads, uh, so we uh, can uh, type on the keypads. But here we are, uh, the new emerging uh, technologies are uh, evolved where the paradigm is absolutely different. So the uh, design uh, style, uh, UI uh, information architecture, the way it has, be, um, has to be designed, the visuals and the typography, the images has to be relooked at, um, uh, relooked because the paradigm is becoming uh, very different. And uh, uh, today also we have uh, different medias like uh, here uh, initially it was uh, uh, if we are talking uh, communicating with the world uh, with one mobile or uh, one um, tablet and one uh, laptop, they, they were not initially interconnected. So right now we have interconnected things. So our mobile phone can be connected with our uh, laptops and it can be even connected by some more wearable, more tangible uh, things like watches and uh, so which uh, can take our voice command and gesture commands. So we need to know these things because uh, initially the command uh, system was ty uh, typing and clicking. So while designing for that, we need to uh, design uh, in a different way. But while designing for voice command and gesture commands, uh, we have to design in a different way. So for um, um, iOS app, for example, we have the Apple Watch and even the CD, the application CD takes our uh, voice command. So uh, the uh, design of CD has to be absolutely different from a keypad. So keypad, uh, initially the command was uh, taken only from the keypad. So uh, uh, in, uh, in terms of visual design, things are also changing. Here we also have a Samsung watch which uh, gives a similar opportunity. But right now, uh, the new advancements are happening in terms of uh, virtual reality, mixed reality and augmented reality. We will discuss what uh, they are. And uh, there, the, uh, the display system, the typography, use of typography and use of images, use, use of everything uh, will be uh, relooked. Uh, but uh, definitely the principles and everything, the, um, uh, everything has to be the, uh, the same. Uh, the, princip um, uh, the principles will uh, eventually uh, be followed um, 
um, uh, the, uh, the principles of uh, color, principles of um, um, elements of design and principles and the typography, every principles has uh, will be followed, even the gestures principle and everything because those, those are eternal. But the mood uh, in the, para the, uh, the platform, the paradigm is uh, just the different. So, uh, if we discuss about virtual reality, what is it? Everything we perceive through uh, our digital media is actually virtual. So, in terms of phone, if we are um, uh, listening to some uh, voices, so which were not there in the real world, but they are virtual. But in terms of de uh, design, uh, the term virtual uh, reality is uh, a little different. So, uh, we do not consider the um, displays uh, in uh, mobile and displays in laptops as virtual, though they are virtual, but uh, they are not, uh, they do not come uh, within the term virtual reality or VR is defined in um, UI UX domain. So, VR uh, and virtual reality will be, uh, we will call it virtual reality when the sound, when the uh, three, uh, when the when the visual will completely take um, take uh, um, uh, uh, the user into a, com a completely different world, so it will have to mimic the uh, realistic uh, three-dimensional environment in a very realistic way, so uh, so that the people feel that they are in the completely different world. So, uh, for example, we have some virtual reality headset like Ocul Oculus Rift. Uh, Rift. Google Gear, Google, uh, uh, Samsung Gear, uh, Google Cardboard and H, uh, uh, HTC Vive. So, if we uh, wear this, this headset, we will not perceive any sound and any uh, we will not see any visual from the real world. We will only look at the projection of three dimensional uh, world in, um, in, in, the, in the visual proje uh, projection and the sound will be also given in the complete different sound will be also uh, given. So, uh, we will completely uh, uh, move uh, from, uh, we will be completely cut off from the real world uh, to, um, to the virtual world in terms of only visual and uh, sound. So, uh, and then uh, there is also a mixed reality because virtual reality is uh, just for, um, uh, it is more dominantly there in uh, game and animation when uh, we want to um, um, involve the user more uh, into, the, uh, into, into the application. So, game and um, uh, animation which requires higher involvement of uh, user, uh, higher interaction with the user uh, will be more uh, towards the full virtual reality. But in terms of uh, UI um, uh, applications uh, and uh, uh, doing our day to day life, we need to have a connection with the uh, uh, physical world as well because we are not playing game and we are not in a completely different um, uh, world like uh, 3D animations in a virtual uh, uh, world. So, the term mixed reality uh, combines the physical um, uh, let us perceive the uh, physical uh, reality world in terms of sound, haptics or touch and uh, in terms of um, visual, but also adds a layer of information, real, a layer of another um, uh, uh, visual, it can be a visual information, it can be a sound information on top of uh, uh, physical reality. So, it uh, blends physical reality with virtual reality, that is why it is called mixed reality. So, there are some technologies uh, which, uh, avail uh, which uh, are available there and which are uh, on, on the pro process of uh, uh, launching. So, one is Google Glass, which uh, Google was researching on Google Glass. So, Google Glass let us perce perceive the physical world, but it talks about, um, uh, it gives added uh, information in terms of visual and in uh, terms of uh, sound. So, if we look at the Google, uh, Google Glass uh, conceptual uh, drawing, so, here the person looks at perceives the physical world or also there are a lot of informations, uh, in, uh, it can be information about the flight, it can be information about time, uh, temperature and everything uh, he can, uh, they can perceive, the user can perceive through a projection uh, on in, in the glass. So, uh, some videos can be played on top of um, the, uh, the world, so uh, the way uh, it, it is um, written. So, here we can, we have to play with the figure ground relationship and we again have to uh, select the typography uh, very clearly and what will be the foreground's opac opacity and the uh, background's opacity and how much you want to uh, show the uh, background or the physical reality and how much uh, the, phys um, uh, the virtual reality projections will be there and where the projections will be there and where the uh, where our main um, um, 
I is uh, there and what kind of information we have to take from the physical world is very important. And here we um, have also um, have to use the eye trackers and we need to uh, understand where people look at. So a demonstration of eye tracker will be given in a, in a methodology section of visual design. So uh, how um, we track people's eye and how we understand where people are looking at, where are the um, uh, and uh, interpret the heat map of an eye tracker and how um, the what are the areas uh, in, in the three dimensional um, uh, frame where uh, user focus. So these things has to be incorporated in the design of uh, this um, mixed reality uh, platform. Even the Microsoft HoloLens is a, has a similar concept. They also has a head mounted uh, wearable mixed reality uh, system. And here you can uh, see in the concept, uh, their concept uh, uh, image. So on top of the env environmental of uh, a physical um, uh, layer, there are virtual uh, informations added on top of it. So you have to play with the opacity and you have to play with the position of uh, where the projection will happen. And all these informations are added on top of that to so enhance our day-to-day uh, -day activity and work um, uh, and uh, to perform uh, us better. So augmented reality has a similar concept. It's uh, also um, uh, similar, but uh, the term is different based on their uh, uh, the way it has evolved. So, augmented reality, uh, um, in terms of augmented reality, there uh, can be a QR code, and uh, if we scan through our digital devices, mo um, uh, for example, mobile uh, camera or um, uh, the uh, tablet camera, the QR code will generate a kind of a three-dimensional form which will be uh, superimposed on the physical uh, reality platform. So here it can be a three-dimensional three form, it can be just some information. So it is not uh, uh, very different from a mixed reality, but it is um, the name is different because it is um, uh, augmented reality is only um, uh, is uh, only in the domain of uh, visual and uh, it's uh, it has a lot, uh, lot of limitation it's not as um, um, uh, uh, as broad as uh, mixed reality so here we have some informations uh, uh, um, available on the uh, uh, physical reality uh, 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 world so uh, what happens here is uh, the camera scans the image and uh, it um, uh, and it uh, generates some kind of uh, uh, digital image in the uh, display system. Then we uh, uh, talk about the, the future, um, uh, the, uh, the way it is evolving, uh, where we are leading in the, um, in the domain of digital media in the next um, few decades where we uh, will be. So uh, we can discuss about the sixth sense and the inter uh, internet of things and the haptic uh, technology. So first we discuss the internet of things, how it is. It is also, uh, it is connecting our day to day object and it is not just connecting uh, some digital devices together, it is uh, connecting all the uh, appliances and it uh, perceives that all the appliances will be smart uh, uh, appliances and they will communicate with each other in terms of exchanging data and um, reading their data and there will be a, a kind of a machine learning happening uh, in terms of uh, processing the data and uh, acting accordingly. So we can control, um, uh, we can take data from all the devices, all the smart devices ranging from uh, smart refrigerator, smart TV to uh, 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 smart illumination system, uh, smart air conditioning system, even the uh, automobiles. Uh, and we can control through a centralized control system. So that was uh, the future uh, domain and uh, the, the way Internet of Things are perceived. Uh, if you watch the movie uh, Her, uh, which uh, talks about the similar concept where a person uh, communicates with the mobile, um, with uh, his uh, laptop and uh, through voice command and um, um, uh, does uh, his work. So this was um, uh, definitely a futuristic movie, but uh, it uh, talks about the Internet of Things. And uh, there are some uh, already available uh, appliances which is uh, uh, which is done in the domain of Internet of Things. For example, uh, Google Home. So Google Home is a device which connects all the home uh, uh, smart home appliances. Uh, you know, the, all the appliances has to be electronics and um, uh, will be able to. Uh, 
send the data to the Google Home and should be uh, um, should be able to connect with the Google Home. So in uh, in uh, through the Google Home, uh, it can be connected. Uh, it can um, uh, the uh, appliances can be connected, and uh, you can. Um, give command uh, to the appliances and you can control the appliances for example refrigerator smart tvs and uh, other uh, home appliances through this uh, google uh, home internet of things can range from uh, home appliances to uh, uh, micro level home appliances towards the uh, macro level city uh, it can also uh, transform in uh, translate in the city level for example it can uh, create a sm uh, some uh, concepts of uh, smart city and it can also be in um, in uh, transportation design or automobile and in uh, in many other domains so in uh, terms of smart city we can have, uh, look at the florence bus stop designed by mit media lab uh, so they design the bus stop with all the informations uh, the informations of um, the location of the buses and the other vehicles will be given on the uh, digital uh, display system of the bus. So here uh, the digital display system is not confined within our laptop, within our mobile, it is um, on the facade of the bus stop. So in the bus stop, uh, bus stop screen, uh, bus stop's uh, uh, transparent um, uh, material, the system will be uh, embedded, uh, the display system will be embedded and uh, this, uh, yes, uh, the uh, location about the buses and all this informations will be tracked by GPS system and uh, the information will be given and even the uh, map of the city and uh, uh, the uh, se uh, sensors, uh, the climatological sensors will collect the clim uh, climatic data uh, for example, humidity, temperature and everything and uh, time and uh, all these things will be displayed on this uh, digital system. So, uh, so this um, uh, display system is connected with the GPS system of the bus uh, says location as, as well as the uh, sensors which, is, um, uh, which can be there in the, uh, throughout the city uh, and city can be tra transformed in a living laboratory and all the sensors will, uh, will collect the pollution level, uh, uh, temperature and humidity data and feed that to this bus stop. So this is uh, actually a concept of internet of things which connects all the sensors throughout the city and all the GPS systems uh, and uh, gives the exchange the information amongst themselves. So uh, another uh, example can be the BMW's uh, new uh, Vision Next 100 uh, concept motorcycle. It's not launched, but this is there. So this motor, um, uh, this automobile, this is um, a two-wheeler. So this is not just a two-wheeler. It connects with your eye uh, headgear. So uh, what he, uh, uh, headgear and as well as your jacket. You have to wear a particular jacket. So this is the jacket you have to wear while um, driving and uh, in the hand there has to be a sensor. So it connects uh, the vehicle, the two wheeler with the jacket you wear and with the uh, um, head mounted um, uh, visual system and uh, as well as the uh, sensors uh, which we are wearing on your finger. So it connects all these three things and wh what is the facility it gives? It, uh, uh, what you see and it perceives that and it uh, tells where are the po uh, different po uh, positions of um, uh, different objects. So it perceives what is the distance between uh, different objects and it uh, avoids clashes and uh, even your body uh, and the jacket um, uh, um, has sensors and which uh, transforms uh, which, uh, which takes the information about your body movement and uh, gives uh, feeds that to the vehicle and even uh, there is a, a possibility to tilt and possibility to um, um, uh, crash so the vehicle will uh, automatically uh, adjust itself and uh, through the sensors which you are wearing on your finger you can give uh, gesture command so if you um, uh, so there will be some gesture com uh, command which uh, they will um, add with the uh, uh, with the uh, with the uh, two wheeler so through your uh, finger you can navigate and uh, drive the uh, uh, to um, uh, this um, two wheeler then we have future uh, future of um, uh, in future of digital media we can discuss about the sixth sense uh, the concept was give, uh, given by pranav mystery of samsung so in sixth sense it, it is also a similar concept uh, so uh, all the um, uh, sensors what we uh, you wear on here you can look at the figure uh, you wear on your fingers of both the hands 
the mirrors and cameras and the microphones and all the mobile or computing devices will be connected together. So, you um, this is also a mixed reality uh, system of uh, visualizing things. So, on everything it will uh, scan through your camera and it will uh, uh, take the informations uh, by uh, scanning through your camera and give you informations and uh, through an aug augmented digital uh, uh, um, re uh, reality plat platform. So, the next level also uh, if we uh, think about the future, we, uh, there are a lot of re research on the haptics because we are talking about uh, visual and uh, we are talking about sound. These uh, these are already there, uh, there are and we, uh, we are um, uh, and the designers and developers have uh, progressed a lot in uh, uh, in terms of blending the physical reality within the virtual in terms of sound and visual. But the haptic which uh, means uh, the touch sensation is yet to be uh, it is a uh, little far fetched and um, right now the next process a lot of uh, scientists are researching on the uh, haptic sensation how uh, the touch sen uh, sensation or the tactile. Uh, sensation of a real material can be translated and uh, the uh, uh, how we can interact uh, with the physical reality in terms of touching and in terms of holding. So, here there can be um, uh, we can discuss uh, again um, MIT media labs uh, tangible medias uh, uh, the way they are progressing here you can see uh, there are a lot of pixels again the concept of pixels are transformed into a 3D tangible volume. So, there will be a lot of uh, 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 you can you can perceive that as a voxel, but tangible voxels. So these uh, uh, small voxels on 3D uh, pixels will uh, will be um, can uh, 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 can be hold, can be touched, and uh, they will interact according to your um, command. So here it will interact with the ball, and here there is a person sitting somewhere else, and he's he's just display um, uh, uh, the um, uh, the the uh, image is displayed over here. But he's with some sensors, his position of the hand is uh, tracked, and the position of the hand, the form of the hand is mimicked with uh, with this boxes, and he's playing with the ball, which is far away but he, he can he can hold the ball and he can uh, move the ball with the uh, with this technology so these are some emerging technologies and uh, it's uh, uh, need of the hour to know about these technologies because uh, the designers and the UX designers and the developers are moving into which direction we need to know and we need to apply our visual design skills accordingly so, after discussing all the uh, uh, varied advancement in, uh, technolo in the technology of uh, digital media, uh, in the next uh, module onwards, we will discuss uh, uh, what are the different methodology, we will start discussing the methodology in uh, first, we will discuss the generic design methodology in visual uh, design domain. And then uh, as uh, it is a very uh, different um, uh, domains are there within the uh, visual communication design, for example, animation, game and then we have a uh, web application and then we also have uh, the graphic design. They are uh, very different. The methodology of uh, designing in each and every domain is also uh, uh, different. So, after discussing the general uh, design methodology, we will uh, discuss in each and every uh, different uh, seg uh, segments and uh, discuss their methodology. And we also will uh, uh, talk about the um, eye tracking system and how uh, you can incorporate users feedback into your methodology part. Thank you.